Mobile Bay, Alabama, 1865, April 12, 1865, the, after the capture of Spanish Fort and Fort Blakely um, on, in Baldwin County, the Union Army, the 13th Army Coroner General Gordon Granger um, left Stark's Wharf, a Union Depot in present-day Daphne and crossed over Mobile Bay and landed just south of present-day Brooklyn Field. I'm standing now on the Brooklyn property, which has recently been acquired by the city of Mobile. The land I'm standing on, this would have been part of the bay at the time. It's, it's land, this is landfill land right now. Um, this is the old Brooklyn golf course. Further, further up inland was the original coastline in 1865. And once the Union troops landed, they marched up this bay shell road, a road made of seashells. You can see the road, uh, the vehicles off to the distance, and they marched north and eventually were met by the mayor of Mobile, Robert Slough, who was in a horse and buggy with a large white bed sheet hanging from his, his uh, horse and buggy. And he surrendered the city to uh, representatives of the U.S. Army and Navy. And that was on April 12, 1865. So the, the city of Mobile was actually surrendered here on uh, near the position I am now, near the old Brooklyn Golf Course, Brooklyn Air Force Base, on the Bay Shell Road off in the distance there. That was April 12, 1865, and this is beautiful Mobile Bay.